Hey everyone, Trimmer33 here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different from the usual. I'm doing a collection video. I haven't done one in like what, since the beginning of this, since this channel started? Yeah, there's that. Uh, I don't usually do these type of videos because they really take a long time. But since about this specific topic, I don't have too much of it. And it's actually all in one place, where I then a bunch of different places. I thought it would be just much easier. So for today's video, we're going to be checking out my All Engines Go collection. Yes, I play All Engines Go. Now, before you ask, my opinions on All Engines Go are, are kind of mixed because I don't hate the show, but I also don't love the love it, you know? It's like right in the middle. But personally, the art setting is rather cute. Some of the episode plots I have watched are actually really cute and, and you know, wholesome and such. But again, it's not like the towns that we knew. But yeah, pretty much I'm like, like right there in the middle. So uh, let's begin the collection video. So first up in the collection are these two, since apparently these are the only ones that, that Mattel made, and it's these. These are the Thomas pullbacks. So this is Thomas, who has a really weird face. I don't know what, what that face is. Um, here's his side. He's pretty up, but that's because of the motor thing. Oh, but yeah, he, he goes to race away. Um, honestly, this is really cool. I really like this. I do not understand though why he has like this like roller bearing thing. Like my thought was that maybe when it starts and maybe it goes too fast, I mean that's for that. And it makes sense because it's right, it hits right there. But I don't know. And same goes for Percy. He also has that. And here's Percy who is shocked that he goes turn into this pullback toy. I'm so sorry, Percy. Um, he has four wheels, two hundred and six. And I had this idea uh, that maybe right here where the screw is, I think that was supposed to go where Tom's and six uh, middle wheel is supposed to go. So I, because I think they reused the chassis for them. So yeah, there's that. Uh, Percy looks really cute. I really like his face. He's kind of fun. So that's pretty much for the pullbacks. And we're going to the push alongs now because I have way more track to the push along. So first one up is Thomas. Thomas is actually really accurate. I can't believe I'm saying this, but surprisingly, the Origins Co. push alongs are almost, if not exactly the same as the TV show counterparts. I really like their variations for their faces. There's so many variations of all the models, except for like maybe two or three of different faces and different molds and such. Yeah, that was really, really cool. And Thomas, I really like him. I really like his detail, his wheels, his face looks super accurate too. It's honestly, he's really cool. I really like Thomas. He's probably my favorite push along now. And to go on with Thomas, I need to see where he is. Okay, he's right there. Here's Percy. Percy's probably my second favorite. He's just so darn cute. His face is just so cute. And he's, such, he's so small too. I like his details. It looks like they just took him right off the show. I really like this Percy model. And then we have Nia. Who I personally think is the worst one of all the push on models. Like her model's not bad. That's not what I'm trying to say. It looks it still is good, but it doesn't look exactly like the O Engines Go one for some reason. But it still looks good. I really like her face and such. Her model has a great orange color. Her wheels are really interesting and such. And I really think she's a great model. Although not as accurate as like Percy and Thomas. And then we got over here, we take Nia out, because I have a lot of push on stuff. We have Diesel, who I personally really like Diesel. I think he's kind of fun in the show. Um, I also really, really like his purple color. I don't know why, but I just vibe with that. Like a purple and black old, old Edel's chunter. It just looks so cool. And I really like Diesel's model. And his face is kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of interesting to say the least. <laughs> And then over here we have Carly. Uh, oh my, she doesn't even film the camera. There we go, now she does. Carly's really interesting because I really like the way her crate doesn't move too much, but for a toy, she does a lot. Although it's not like the track master model, which I thought was even cooler, but we'll get to that later. Um, Carly honestly just looks like the one from the show, to be honest, I really like her. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say, Carly, not much there. And then we got Gordon, who's another one of my favorite push models. 
This dude is just so cool. He looks like the one from the show, minus the back wheel missing, but that's to be expected. His center is actually really cool. I really like his design here. This is all so cool. I also like he's like one of the only few engines that his wheels don't have the this printing. His wheels are not like painted gray and they don't have like this little area where it's like a different color blue. I just thought that was really interesting and honestly, I prefer Gordon like that. I don't know why, but he, he just looks so unique. I also like his face and you know, for considering the size of this, this is really cool. I really like Gordon and I just hit my tripod. Okay, now we're back to business. And here's the last like regular push along one and a half, but this is a push along hero. I was not expecting to, him to get made, but since he appeared in the, what is it, Race for the Soul Pop, I think. I'm not surprised. He's also like Gordon, where his wheels don't have the weird printing that the wheels have. Like, like, like I mentioned, here's what I mean. Uh, so yeah, that, I just find that really interesting. And I think that's, that goes for the only tenor in this, because I saw some pictures of the Push on Henry model, and Henry also has the same thing, and I think James also. But it, it's kind of weird. I don't know why they're doing that, but they make it, they look so unique without the printing. I don't know. It, it, they just look so cool and stuff. What I found weird is that Hugh's face doesn't really look like the one from the show. It just it just looks like a reprint of Nia's face. I don't know why. That that's that's just me again. So just read really that. And then over here, this is one of the three packs that I got. This is Knight Thomas, as I call him, which brings a Thomas that has sort of like dragon skills and it's painted silver with this awesome face that he has a flat bed with a dragon, which I believe it is, yeah, it, it's detachable. It's a plastic dragon, but honestly a really cool one. And it brings this sort of catapult of boulder, which you can actually like launch. Oh, dear God, just went flying over the place. But a really neat feature on this, um, the only one I'm missing from the three, from the, those three packs from that specific like set is Percy. Because I do have this one, you just move Thomas over here. I do have the Molly Carly with the uh, dinosaur and Molly Sandy. This is actually my only Sandy mom, so I might as well just talk about her here. I really like her coupling. She's, she's just really cool. The, you, you know, you know, the unique coupler. Her face is kind of funny. You know how sharp she is, and honestly, she's really small. <laughs> I was not expecting her to be this small. And it's also a flatbed with a dinosaur. Kind of reminds me of the. Renee has no dinosaur, uh, track master models that they made about this. So there's that. And for comparison, here's the regular Carly model. The only difference really is the wheels, detail, and face. Which, if for some reason, Carly looks more creepy in this. Like, her eyes and mouth are like wide open. It just looks so creepy to me, I don't know why. And that's for a push on models. So now let's go into the big, big ones. And now we go into the big red ones, that being the Chuck Master ones. Here we have a regular Thomas, which brings this little cool Starball truck. I don't know how to describe this. this is, I don't know what this even is for, so there's that. But personally, the Chuck Master models are like good models. They're not bad models by any means. But they're not as accurate as I feel they could be. And the faces are the biggest gripes I have with them. Like, comparing this to the push along one, you can tell which is more accurate to the show. I don't know, it's just, it's just off with me. I don't know why, but you know, that's Thomas. And then we have here Percy, who is the only one who I was able to find his truck, which I found it really weird because I have these in a box and they all have their trucks and I was able to find his. I don't know where his is, but I believe he brought a red truck that had the Stoller Mel logo. But Percy's really cute. I really like his face. I think that, like, like, like again, I said, the push on mouse way more accurate in face wise, but the Charmaster Mouse is not too bad. I personally think this is one of the better Charmaster models they make. So, you know, there's that. And then there's Diesel, who I have been here, who has this recycling truck, which I think is well been perfect for with since they now release him Truck Master. Um, Diesel, again, is it's like comments where the model's not bad, but it's not accurate to the show at all. And the face, like Thomas, is one of the biggest gripes. Also, I don't know why, but this model's just so chunky. Like, 
it's like a block. I don't know why, but yeah, that, that's diesel for you, uh, I guess. Here is Nia, who I personally think her Trackmaster model is actually better than her Potion model, because honestly, it just looks way more accurate, to, in my opinion, to the show. And even her face is better than the, the Potion on one, which is really interesting. It brings this like flat bit with decorations. I, I, I don't know what, what these are. They don't tell me what these are. They look like, like like racing flags, but I I don't know anything. But that's Nia. There we go. My camera focused finally. And then we have Kana, who I personally really like. Kana. I always thought she was like a neat little character that the new show introduced. I personally thought she was like a really fun character. And her truck is just like a uh, Nia's one, but it has like screws, which, I mean, I think this should have gone with Cardi since Cardi's like the one that repairs them or Sandy, you know, but not complaining. Also, Kana is really, really cool. I really want to hit the push on model, but there's Kana. And then to complete the main cast, here's Carly, who is way too big to find the camera and now she fits. I found very interesting, like, and this is for packaging reasons, but you can take her crane off and put it in this flat bit right here, which I thought was very interesting. But I prefer to obviously put it on her because she looks kind of weird without it. Personally, Cardi's face is better than the actual push on one. I don't know why, but this one just looks way better than the push on model. But there's Carly, and then for the bigger engines, we actually have a couple. So first up, we have Emily, who I did a tr uh, review on this, so if you want, you can watch that, but this is a fantastic model. I think this is probably the best Trimaster model from this range, and honestly, it's so cool, and I really like her tenor design and everything, and she's very accurate to her show, so there's Emily, and like like Nia, I think her Trimaster model is way better than her Potion model, because her Potion model is like way too thick, in my opinion, but there's that. And then after that, we have Kenji, who weirdly has this. This is like a hopper car. I, I don't know what this is really, but it looks cool. And Kenji does too. And I really like his face and everything, uh, which is really cool. So yeah, there's Kenji, not much to say about him. And here's one of my favorite transfer models, Gordon. He looks so accurate somehow. I really like how his model looks, how even the cab is just so awesome. His skin is actually really good surprisingly, and his face is actually really cute too. What I love about the, about the Trendmaster models is that they are actually in scale with the push on ones. Because if you compare a Trackmaster Thomas to Gordon, obviously Thomas is somehow taller than Gordon. I don't even know how that's possible. When the show it's the opposite, where the tanker engines are actually smaller than tanker engines. And this is actually a really good scaling wise, which I thought was really cool. And this is why I like the tender engines because they're way more accurate than the tank engines and they actually look really good. So yeah, there's Gordon. And now for the three packs or well, before going to the three packs, have this variation of Thomas who I also did a review on. This came in a set with Cranky. So if you want to see the Thomas there, you can see that. But yeah, there's a plain old truck with a different face, not, not much difference there. And now for the three packs. First is Percy, who can barely find the camera, there you go. Uh, it has some music and balloons going through it with a interesting face, I guess. Uh, the second car is really way too small to be with it, but on one side can be either like a music band coach or it could be like a van, like a male coach. Uh, that, that's really, really cool. Um, so there's that, and there's this, which this came with the Sony Anniversary Gold Thomas and they like repeated it again. But basically when this moves, it just hits the, this thing, let me show you. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see. Kind of makes like a little music on the note. Although, I should mention that I kind of get stuck on the gears. So I don't know why that happens, but yeah. There's Percy. And then here's Diesel, who was part, who, his three bikes based on the race for a solo cop because he's painting in that livery. Um, I really like the yellow, it looks really cool, and the trophy actually is like, kind of cool, it's like a, uh, a train, that's kind of cool. 
And the car here is actually a repaint of the 2016 uh, Shooting Star, I think it was, Coach. Obviously, when you this moves, uh, the flags will usually move, but it seems to remove the mechanism on this because they just like spring freely, really, really, and they have the space for the mechanism, but they didn't put it in, inside, which is really, really strange, but kind of cool, I don't know. But yeah, there, that's diesel. And finally, to our last item is actually, I think this was my first ever all just go item. The Muddy Thomas that is shot, cover and mod, brings this nice little brown truck, which is really cool, with a cow and everything, which I thought was really cool, but the, the cow, see, see it, it has like seen some things. It just doesn't move. Yeah, come on. Camera focus. Because it doesn't move, right? <laughs> He's seen some things. Uh, anywho, and then it also has this truck, which I guess reels my camera's out of focus. Come out of focus. There we go. Which the truck brings this really cool face. And my camera can focus again. There we go. It actually wobbles when it goes. I need to demonstrate here. As you can see, it kind of wobbles, which is really cool. It's covered mod also brings some hay. Which I thought was really cool, and that's pretty much for my Oranges Go collection. If, if my camera can focus again, there we go. So, um, yeah, I spent a lot of money on all the OG Oranges Go stuff, and, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in severe depth. <laughs> but, anywho, I just want to thank you guys for watching the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want to see more collections like these, let me know, because I actually got a couple in mine. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.